Everybody, glutton for punishment time. Phil Jr. and Phil Sr. We're going to try a Chinense Super Hot. Today's choice is from Jim Duffy. Uh, refining Fire Chilies. Let's see if I can get this a little closer to the camera. And Jim was gracious enough to send us several strains. We're not going to do all four of uh, all three of the strains, he sent us three strains this time. The King Naga, the Black Naga. Uh, I'm sure some of you know what the Black Naga is all about because James, uh, James, uh, I'm sorry, Ryan and um, Scott Roberts did that first. So that one looks scary. Mm -hmm. But we've never tried the Sunrise Scorpion, which is the one we're going to do today, which is the one on the the laptop, and Jim sent us four, two to, two to actually eat, and two to seed, and two to seed out, so I'm going to let my son pick the first one, I'm going to pick the other one, and the other two are going to be seed outs, just to let you know, these, these came from Trinidad, the island of Trinidad, they came from a lady named Sarah, who is responsible for getting the seeds to other hobbyists. The Italian chili organization called ISPES, I believe it's pronounced A-I-S-P-E-S, -E grew this, and it's through one of their friends that James, Jim, Duffy, got the seeds. And the reason that they are called sunrise chilies, or sunrise scorpions, is because it grows pointing up rather than growing down, so they grow up. And it is between... 700 and 800,000 Scovilles, which is quite a lot. So this should be a pretty hot pepper. And we're not using the basketball, James and Ryan. We're using the old <laughs> golf ball. So all I got to say is, here we go. Wow. Right to the tongue. Tingly. Nice fruity. Very citrusy. Nice fruity taste. Real seedy. Right through the back of the throat, and I haven't even swallowed it yet. I can smell it in my nasal passage before I've even swallowed. These ones are hot. Oh, really hot. <clears throat> Heat's intensifying all over my mouth, my lips, <clears throat> my tongue. Oh my gosh. It's, it's engulfing my entire mouth. Top of the tongue, sides of the tongue, underneath the tongue, roof of my mouth, back of my throat. <coughs> get, it's beginning its travel down my esophagus. And I'm getting a lot of drool. A, a lot, lot of drool. drool. Lots of drool. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Sunrise Scorpion. The reason it's called Sunrise is because it generally grows facing up towards the sun. Sorry if I'm spitting. At least I'm not drooling all over the place. But definitely one of the hotter... That we've that we've tasted. <coughs> so, this, so this is what eight, seven or eight hundred Scoville's feels like. Oh man, eight hundred thousand. Endorphin rushes all over. <clears throat> My eyes are starting to water a little bit. It's starting to give the endorphin rush, the body rush. Feeling it right here, right underneath the ears. Feeling it in my hand. My hand's tingling.
starting to hit the pit of my stomach. Oh, man. Ears are beginning to warm up. Yeah. I'm at a loss of words. This is probably the hottest one I've ever had. Glasses aren't fogging up, but I'm taking them off anyway. Good one, Jim. <coughs> Nose is starting to run. Getting the sniffles. For novice chili heads, do not try this. <laughs> this took away the breath of the two fills, baby. Definitely, uh, the endorphin rush is um, uh, immense. I mean, it's just really right in the head. It's all over my body. Feeling my chest, my hands. I'm feeling the rush all over. Sunrise Scorpion. Capsicum Chinense. My friend Paul, where the hell are you at, man? You need to taste some of these bad boys. We'll probably give this one maybe five or ten. I'm kind of inclined to let the let the thing roll. Oh my gosh! Right to the back of the throat. The back of the throat is a blowtorch. The sides of my tongue, the bottom of my tongue, engulfed. Five or ten. We'll be back. <coughs> it's been about five minutes, and uh, lots of drool. Very intense fire. Very intense. Phil Jr. is drooling into the garbage can. And we both blown our nose a couple times. A lot of uh, saliva. Real intense. So I'm going to give it about another five minutes. On a 1 to 10 scale, 14, man. You know what I mean? This blows the scale right off the charts. This is really, really hot. You know, 13, 14, I'd say. We'll be back. Give me about a month, uh, yeah, five more minutes. Blah, blah, blah. Man, this pepper kicked my ass. It's been 10 minutes. As luck would have it, Sometimes my son does better than me, and sometimes I do better than him. So far, so good for me. The heat inside the mouth is down to maybe a, a habanero intensity, 10, on a 10 scale. And it's hitting the pit of my stomach, but not real bad right now. It may hit later, which I've had happen, but at this point, damn hot Pepper, Jim. The Sunrise Scorpion. One hell of a pepper. By Jim Duppy at Refining Fire Chilies. www.superhotchilies.com I'll put that below when I edit this out. And you can find that in the comments section. I'll give you a hot link for it. 
And, uh... This is the worst endorphin rush I've ever had. I felt like my something was going to happen to my heart. This, <clears throat> this pepper just killed me, man. My stomach... My stomach hurt so bad. It was... It felt like my hands were trembling. If the rush came to my hands and to my head... My stomach just hurts. Ah, uh, so bad. Do not try this at home, novices. You will be sorry. And, uh, I will suggest this to Derek. If Derek's feeling, uh, brave. I know you're out there doing this, Derek. Um, see if Jim will give you some of these sunrise scorpions, dude. <laughs> Man, um, the Buchalokias are pretty hot. And... I don't know, it's got a different kind of a, a, a burn. These things, some peppers have like a tingling pins and needle kind of sting. And some have like a dull, all around burn. You know, like a hot coal, like Neil Smith of the Hippie Seed Company has used that description at times. This one is like the hot coal. This one's a hot coal feel down the back of the throat, inside the mouth. And it's more of a dull burn. Um, I'm telling you, this one's going to kick your butt, but be advised, it's worth it. It's really worth it, Derek. Anybody out there who's, uh, who's doing the Neil Smith and Phil Lanza senior and junior thing and trying to do these super hots, uh, warning, the Sunrise Scorpion is one of the hottest out there. So just to let you know. You have been warned. Eat it at your own risk. This ain't for the faint of heart. Anything else, Buck? This pepper sucks, man. Alright, we thank you a lot, Jim. We appreciate the... Yeah, thanks, Jim. The, the, the complimentary peppers, and we definitely appreciate the seeds. Definitely got something to grow next year. Until the next time, YouTubers. Thanks, Jim. Glutton for punishment, the two fills. Yep. Y'all be good. Take care. And don't forget, life is short, so be good to everybody. You know what I mean? Give everybody you know a hug. Tell me you never know when it's... Boo! Later.